Okay. Hip adduction, that's ADD, adduction, is when we're driving our knees inward. So the force, the exertion is right here, squeezing, and you feel the inner leg working. Come back down slow, stretch, squeeze. Ugh. Wait, is this right. adduction, not abduction? This one's adduction. You sure? Oh, maybe they're not sightlined over. Yeah, I just checked this photo. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at this photo. <laughs> I was like, damn, he's smart. <laughs> All right. You're at 65. Yeah, drop it like one or two. One or two, I was going to half. That's okay, yeah, it's pretty light. Okay, okay. And you have strong legs, you play soccer, right? Bro, I haven't played in a while. Though. But it's in your blood. Yeah, it's in my blood. Bro, I'm also not flexible. Okay, let's start here. Okay. <laughs> So you want to work your way to let it let, let the machine help you stretch like another one or two positions, but like it, it might take like a set or two. I can do. I feel like I can go. It's just I'm in between these notches, so I feel like I could go one more, but I can't get. You know what I mean? I just try to get, get one more. All right. All right. Yep. You got it. Yeah. All right. There, you go. there we go. And I, I try to use as little hand as possible until like the last few. Okay. And it hit back, back or like, like this? I kind of like to lean forward when okay. I'm squeezing in. Yep. It's just a warm up too, right? Yeah, warm up and just like squeeze the fuck out of the inner leg. like. Bro, I'm not gonna be able to move tomorrow. <laughs> See, Bill says that these make your legs like huge because like they'll make them touch. Oh, like, the insides of your legs will touch. Yeah. Way easier. Oh, fuck. All right. How the fuck do I get out of this now? Okay. Oh. And for reps, we want to go like a. Like after that first set, uh -huh. now we'll go like set to 12, but okay. like a tough 12. Set to 12? Yeah. Okay. I remember last time we were in Orlando. It's gonna start yeah. being like, remember last time we were at? Yeah, that's weird. That's Full weird, cycle, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> that's a universal. That's what you it ran away for yeah. two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, not in Orlando, because then you went to Stewart. I left in Orlando. You left Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Wow. How long ago was that? Oh, it must have been what five months now. Ish. I want to say it was April. Like, April. I don't know why April sounds right. April, May. Yeah. That's nuts. 
because it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I am uncomfortable. All right, this is, this should be like a good set. Okay, that's it. Getting to like twelve. Yeah. Did and like you, you wanna, you see how the machine's kind of like opening like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Try, imagine like try to make the machine be like butter, like. Like smooth. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah. Science. <laughs> <laughs> I like butter. Use your hands to get like an extra like five or six at the end. Oh, I'm at 12 though. Yeah, you have more. Keep more. You're like six more. Ah, yeah. Pum Two. Four. Ah, one more. All right. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta bump the weight up. Bro, that's hard. Let me go like. What are you at right now? 95. Shit. Okay, you start okay. at 65 or 95 now? I don't look. Bro, <laughs> I look. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep my feet up here or on the bottom. I feel like that's definitely got to affect a different part, right? Like lower. Yeah. If you're higher, it affects lower. Kind of like what? higher. Like this, this feels so what do you want to? Do you like uh, take a moment at the bottom to squeeze it too? Or at the bottom, like, no. Or sorry, like at the contraction? Yes, at yeah, the top, so, yeah. Or at the top, yeah. At the bottom, it's like almost like relaxed purposely. Right, let it So like, you let stretch it stretch you. you. Yeah. All right. all right, all right. I'll do, fuck, 50? Are we still doing around 12 reps? To around 12. Jeez. Like 12 should be like with the extra reps kind of at the end, right. then you're hitting about 12. Okay, okay. I see what you mean. So eight hard ones. Yo, you see Nick Walker's not competing? What? Nick Walker. Was that his announcement? Yeah. I think I think he tore something somewhere. Yeah. He's in a wheelchair right now. His new newest post is him in a wheelchair. So I think he might have been something in his legs. Holy shit, no, I saw he posted. I didn't see that. Yeah. God, he wanted it so bad. Alright. That's so much prep, bro. Yeah, and it's like right at the end, it just happened. Yeah, uh, his coach, who was his coach? Matt, Matt Jansen? Yeah. He was just saying like how this was his best prep ever. Like he's gonna be like... Wow. Yeah. Oh, God, that sucks. Training too heavy or what? I don't know. I, I didn't see and you can't even say it. That's just like, it's just chances of that happening yeah. suck. Like, like imagine how much like, like... He needs to be training heavy, like... Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> Okay. Good. Oh yeah. my god. You feel that pump in your legs? Yeah, I went up 20 pounds. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like right, this right here feels fucking good right now. Yeah. Like I that feel like feels higher up. Like yeah. Well, it's, it's like here almost. Yeah. Like yeah. right here, these feel like they're like they're touched. They're like really touching. <laughs> oh yeah. Bro, I don't think I've ever worked that specific area in my life. I'll say I feel like ever since I started doing these every week. This, I feel like this is getting my legs big. This is a big part of it. Yeah. Like, like this whole chunk right here? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what fucks up the jean size. <laughs> it does. Yeah. I'm already moved on from the skinnies, you know? <laughs> you gotta sacrifice <laughs> it. All right, we'll do a lying hamstring curl on the hoist. This one. Ah. <sighs> 
Let's do a little warm up. That was a warm up? Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Anything specific about this? Uh, let me see you first. <laughs> okay. Pretty much, I like to grab like right where this like starts to arch right there. Okay. I grab there and kind of like, then I just focus on getting my heel, heel to your butt. So you want to make your heel smash your butt. Okay. And like explosive? And it, it's, it's explosive in your head, yeah. Okay. But like slow it down, like on your rep. Once you like bring your leg up, uh -huh. once you come to almost touching your butt, like slow it down to where it feels like butter, the rep. Where it's smooth uh, and not okay. just like jerky. And I just like fall it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you move this or is it what you did? I removed it for you. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this moves. Okay. Maybe cool. another two lower or one lower. It felt, it felt okay. I just didn't. This moves. This part. Moves. Oh yeah. So it's a hoist machine. That's oh, why shit. it's my favorite. It goes with you. Yeah. Oh, so it like, rocks with you. Okay. I was not expecting so, that. So go squeeze right there. Hold squeeze and then down. Perfect. So heel to your butt, heel to the butt. Good. You should feel right here. Let's go four more. One, One more? three more. Oh, I third. <laughs> Two. Ugh. One more. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, I was not expecting that. I thought you said one more. I was like, okay, I can do one more. Okay, that was warm up. <laughs> we got three more. I will more say sets. you warm up harder than anyone I've ever met. Really? Like, hard, like I feel like even, that's not even like a, a thing I get often. No, to be even like. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, go up there. How are you doing, Juan? <laughs> I've never felt my hamstrings before in my life. <laughs> so, low key, the hoist brand of machines, this is like a big reason of why, like, it, it, it just reassures my some days I'll like want to come to this gym. The hoist machines are like a big. Um, reason why because I really like them I would love to have them at Alphaland I need to buy them but they're very expensive uh, like the whole collection of them is very expensive like how like, like commercial brands only kind oh, of deal wow. well because they're stupid enough to buy full price just kidding I'm eventually gonna do it too we hear you exhale more like exhale, exhale when like you audibly like, as you go up like exhale exhale on the way up whenever you exert your force uh, so you're about to exert the force so exhale, now breathe in, and go down slower next time, exhale, slow, 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 especially the bottom goes slow, slow, up, up, and hold it, oh no, not again, <laughs> again, 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 up, <laughs> one more, one more, one more, go, Good. Oh, I get, oh, bro, surprise reps are killing What me. if I just like? <laughs> you could do that normally. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
So when you like are at the top, trying to squeeze out the last reps, you kind of use your like. I'll use the swing. Bit. Like that's kind of like, oh, it's on the fence mm -hmm. if you should do it or not. Because like one of the most vulnerable places you can be is like in this hamstring machine when you're like when you're trying to pull it up and it's not going and your body starts to lift up off of this, uh, right? Like that's when you get kind of in a not so so safe spot. It's so like an injury prone? Yeah, so like this is one where like, you really shouldn't be like, like when you hit failure, if your form is really good, you're good. Mm. You know what I mean? Like right. this is one of those types of movements. Gotcha, gotcha. Like okay. I'd rather people not really do what I just did. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was seeing that. So oh no, that's like, a good oh. question. Cause like it, it's, it's important to note when and where like, I I recommend pushing to that level, right? To the, the aggressive, like, oh, you're fucking like grinding them out. Right. Don't really do that on this one. I didn't weigh myself this morning. You didn't? Damn. I haven't been doing it every morning. I've been doing like probably three times a week weighing myself recently. A lot of fluctuations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't really know where, where I am. <laughs> like. It, it, like it'll be between like it'll be it could be six to eight pounds off like from every Just few depending days. on what you eat yeah like one day so, i yeah. felt kind of sick so i went to bed and kind of sweated during the night i was 217 the next morning you're 17 217 217 wow but then i could be on a heavy day where i'm bloated and kind of pushing my stomach traveling you know traveling 230 232 so there's that much like variant fluctuation yeah. so that shows how much water like is it in my body generally? Like, yeah. speaking. That's crazy. But it is, is that, crazy. That's probably why you sweat so much too, because you're there's so much water weight on you. The heavier body weight, the more percent of my body weight is going to be susceptible to fluctuating. Does that make sense? If I'm 180 pounds, 10 percent of my body weight is a lot. Yeah. 10 percent of 225 is a lot more. It's even more. It's another, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's all relative. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. This one, when you go really heavy, the chances are you're gonna be shaky. Even I'm shaky. That's normal. And it kind of goes away after the first few reps, I notice, okay. on this movement. So like, I'll, I'll do the whole stack, but like in the first few might be kind of like really slow, almost like extra slow, and extra like uh, kind of getting it, but then when I get my groove, then it looks better from like the eye. It okay. feels better. And on this one, I grab like pretty much as far back as I can. Far back? Far back, because you want to like pull your butt back into, into the, the bottom. Yeah, like you don't want your butt going like this. You want it to stay as far oh, back okay. as you can. You lock it in and you kind of lock it like this. Brace your core. like you get into a cowboy seat that just fucks you up. <laughs> Dude, that was nuts. So you're getting in a ride that just fucks you up. Yeah. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the thing moves too, so when you started going backwards, I was like, what the fuck is yeah, happening? Yeah, so like, again guys, the hoist machine, the, this brand, the, the equipment moves kind of with you in the motion. That's like why they're special. So you'll notice that as you're doing this quad, you're like rocking back and forth, which adds, I don't know why the fuck the science, but it adds more fucking pressure on the muscles. Bro, you're at the bottom. I know, I'm doing the whole set. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the only time I've seen someone do the whole stack was like Nick Walker. And yeah, and over here too. Oh, you did? Oh my god. Bro, I'm gonna be like up here. No, you wanna go heavy though. Go like 70% of the stack. No, 65%. I, I, I definitely can't do 165, this. 165, there you go. I definitely don't think I can do this. I'm gonna have to move this up to you because my femur is definitely shorter than yours. You haven't even tried it and you're already saying I can't. I know myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright. <laughs> I'm not gonna move this thing. All the right. first reps are the hardest. Point your toes forward. Like that? Yeah. And don't fully lock out, go right before lockout, like right there. Okay. And you wanna squeeze out. You got some big legs, bro. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Count to 10 here, one, two. Don't let it relax there, right there, go. 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 Pull your butt back, butt back, butt back. Pull yourself into that seat. Pump them out, go, oh go. Two, go, three, go. 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 Good. So what I was doing there, guys, on his last ones, as you push the weight up, I would, where after you already had it up, I would pretty much push the, the seat or this thing down to create more resistance. So he's fighting against the resistance. So he's fighting the negative more so when I'm here adding constant resistance. I'm not just pushing it. I'm, here, do a rep. <laughs> So on four reps, as a partner, my job, once he's here, hold it at the top, okay. boom, holding it, I'm pushing slowly, like constant and slow, all the way to the bottom to help him get the full stretch in that quad. And then he goes up, and sometimes I'll help him up, and then back down. <laughs> up, and then back down. So you're like a smooth, like, as a spotter, your job is not to be jerky, not to, not to shock him or put him at risk of injury, it's just to help glide him through the very end. It's almost like assist the movement. Literally. Yeah, you're, you're just like an assisted smooth pulley. <laughs> you're not like a jerky pulley. Wow. Wow, you're way up there. And see? A little man. Oh, my femur is short. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't stand up right. This is part of life, right? You have a perfect plan, but then in commercial gyms very often, or in any gym, including our plan, um, you may just have people on machines that you got to wait on, right? And, or you have to find alternatives or change your plan, which all have to be okay. Kind of depends on your schedule and everything, but, um, dude, that, that guy looks like Mr. Beast in the, in the maroon shirt. He yeah. looks like Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah. Do you see that Mr. Beast was at, uh, he went to the gym, uh, at Roman Empire or Athletic Empire. What? Yeah, he stopped by. Oh shit. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Bro, he's on a whole like weight loss kick. Yeah. You seen that? Like he lost a lot of weight. It was yeah. good. That's like, good. Good for him. Jeff helped him a lot, huh? I saw that, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Jeff texted me. He's Too like crazy. Jeff texted me, he's like, hey bro, you uh, and I, I was like on my honeymoon. And Loki would have been like I would have you, popped in with Mr. Beast and Jeff Nippard. You would have, but that would have been like you got home from Egypt. Yeah, I wouldn't. The made, next I, day, I couldn't have made it happen. You're driving three hours to Dallas. Yeah, wherever that was. Yeah, when the stars align, they will align. I'm excited. I, I would love to pick his. Just like talk, dude. Like really, I would love to just talk because like I'm, about what specifically? What well, I don't think a lot of people have that he's. Well, I'm sure now actually I take it back. There are a lot of individuals he talks to that have gone from zero to a hundred million dollars in revenue and once you hit that hundred million there's a lot of questions I have there's a lot of questions I have as far as like okay because he's in a whole different business than I am completely but things like him sponsoring the NBA jackets right where the Hornets things like feastables like just the scalability of that and what his cap is I, I already have a sense of like okay now he's at the point where he's literally just building the next 10 Mr. Beasts, right? And like, that's essentially, like, I just have a, he's a very high level dude, which you don't yeah. really get to see that often. You can predict things, yeah. but it'd be nice just to pick his brain on like, you know, a yeah. lot of that stuff. Cause I think I'm in the same spot cause I've been doing this just as long as he has yeah. in my own way, in my own space. It's funny cause like, with different angles. Yeah. His growth has been hundred percent YouTube. You're like everything around YouTube. Is yeah. Growing, my, which other he, YouTubers bigger than you have not done a hundred million dollars exactly, revenue. Stuff exactly. Like that. And like, you don't need a hundred million subs to do a hundred million dollars revenue. Yeah. I, I did a hundred million subs with like 900, 800, or I did, a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like whatever that correlation what point, is. How many subscriber count do you think you were at when you were like, okay, Alfie took off? Bro, like, well, I was, when I had 18, no, not even, I had like 14 to 18 K subscribers. I was confident in leaving school. I was ready to leave because I was making about 30 to 40 K a month. With 14,000 subs? What was it, what, ad revenue? Uh, that, that was strictly watching? plans, bro. 
coaching only. Oh my gosh. So it had nothing to do with YouTube specifically. There was no ads, there was no ad spin, there was no ad, like there was no, none of that. It was strictly, I was making YouTube videos, promoting people to go to my website, christianusonfitness.com or whatever it was, um, Christian News on Training. And either, or and, and back then, like my revenue was, if it was say 30K in a month, uh -huh. I'd say like five to 7,000 of that about was one time plan. So I would still have to go in probably spend about 30, 40 minutes creating a plan, right? Uh, and so that would like be that, but then the rest of that percent of revenue, so 22K a month, was coming through like monthly recurring active clients. So that, and I hated email, still hate email. Yeah, so I had iMessage set up, <laughs> my, I, and so I'd be iMessaging, I just on my computer, I have everyone pulled up, save their name first, last name, and I could scroll up, see all their photos real simply in the check-ins, yeah. so they would have to check in with me, but I was doing, but that's hundreds of clients yeah. I was managing at like 20 that's insane. when I was in school. So what you were doing is you were maximizing your small YouTube audience yeah. and leveraging it towards your business. It's Without converting. even knowing I was doing it, yeah. Yeah, you're converting it right away. Yeah. That's crazy. And then when it went to Alpha Elite, 2015, I probably had like, I, man, I would love to go back and see how many subs I had. You can go back. And, and all that, but like, I, that was all because people were buying CG Fitness merch and I was doing like eight to ten k in a launch, CG Fitness wow. like like dollars, yeah. eight thousand to twelve thousand dollars kind of. And when I went to Alphalete, it did fifty five thousand dollars in like four minutes. So I lost my shit. Called my dad. Was said, Dad, what are we gonna do? We got we got to ship these clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it worked too well. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow, that's really cool. I I, I never knew that. That's really, you don't see that yeah. from the outside looking in. How do you not know? That? No, like that you were doing that specifically. Oh. Like you were leveraging the people. Like it yeah. wasn't because whenever people talk about, oh, I was doing YouTube full time, it was because YouTube was making that money. So when you said fourteen to eighteen, oh no, 000, I was doing full time with to YouTube before I got paid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's that the was, secret. That, that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> that's the secret to life, isn't it? No, hundred percent. But like I didn't know that you were leveraging your coaching business and then your merch. I thought it was kind of like YouTube was you were getting money from YouTube until you could. Oh do your own no, stuff. bro! I didn't make money. To, I didn't make substantial money until YouTube. Until, I'll, I'll say like until, whenever I posted my dad's car video, where I got my dad a car. 16 million views or something like that? Like that one pop, that was my first video to ever really pop off. Uh -huh. But I didn't see that revenue until like months later. Right. So like months after I posted that, that's when I started seeing like, holy crap, there's a good YouTube check here now. Yeah. Because like before then it really wasn't notable. Yeah. But then I remember at a peak, it probably got to like 17 to 18K payment from YouTube in a month. Jeez. Which is still not even half of what you were making coaching. Yeah, that wasn't even half of what I was doing on yeah. coaching. So in my head, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll keep pumping out these YouTube videos. No problem. Yeah. It's easy. And it's like you're already doing it, basically. Yeah, like, exactly. And I had no expenses, bro. I was fucking living at home at this point. In my room. Yeah. Saving 30K a month. That's insane. And then I bought a gym. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> And now I'm still paying it back. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah. <sighs> 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 I don't even want to try to help you with these because I don't know if I'll do it right, so I'd rather not. Like, <laughs> honestly, I'm not going to injure you. <laughs> unless you want, unless you think I'm happy like, you got to leave that in so people don't think you're just not doing it. No, no, I'm watching. I'm right there, but I'm like... <laughs> I mean, I'll help, you, you, I'll help you one more time so you can see. Would you want me to do it? Yeah, okay. do it for my next one and I'll show, them. I'll show you one more time how to do it. All right. Just don't let it touch the bottom, right there. So you're trying to catch it before it gets easy. Whenever the weight's in an easy position, you gotta get uncomfortable real quick. Right. Come on, uncomfortable, ready, go. One, two, three. Notice how I'm grabbing here on the side, guys. This is a little bit easier in the middle. Go, go, hold, resist it, go, go. Ready, catch your breath, catch your breath, catch your breath, cap, three breaths, ready. 
Let's go. Pushing down, pushing down, helping up, pushing down. Slower, 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 slower. Oh, okay. good. Oh, so why, <laughs> why um, I get the helping up, but why push down? So push down, essentially like, I'm only pushing down to make it harder so you're not just holding an isometric hold for like 30 seconds. Oh, uh, okay, it's like, so much easier on the way up because you're helping. Yeah, it's you're... that much easier to where like once you're up, like if you go up, you could probably hold that for at least 12 to 15 seconds before it falls down. But I'm making it to where I'm putting enough resistance to where that's still like a normal negative speed. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, so there's no option to stay. It's kind of like keep, keep the momentum going. Because we we're not trying to do isometric holds. Right. But we are trying to like, you should be trying to fight, like not. not We're trying to rip fighting. as much shit as possible in there, like rip it up, and so by pushing it down, you're able to cause more rippage. This is in super broad terms. Like the more <laughs> the deep rippage. the questions get, the more like less scientific my answers get. <laughs> we just okay. want to rip it up safely. <laughs> and then when do I know when to start helping? Like when you start like. Whenever I can't get it. Well, I'd say like whenever I'm one to two reps of getting it up by myself, that's when you kind of want to start. Okay. I like pulling up through here. You can even push down through here. It, it's on some machines you want to push in the middle of the machine, but okay. this one, it's like sturdy enough okay, so that you okay can push through there. Okay. Yeah. Be sure to leave that part in because that's a big, that's some, depending on machine, it it's varies important. where you want to help spot okay. for sure. And I think a lot of people don't know how to spot. Don't know? Yeah. Bro, I don't no know. one knows how to spot. Yeah. I've seen like even with like you and Chris and stuff. I'm like y'all are doing some like high level. Like I was like, bro, even with Chris, like like if Chris is training shoulders uh -huh. and he's like doing delts, and it's just like they're Jeremy or whatever, and you really want to get like advanced lifting, uh -huh. it's a fact. You're standing right here. It's a fact that like it face this way. If you're lifting and you, and you close your eyes, you're able to engage this more uh -huh. than if your eyes are open. What? I swear to God, bro. It's like a sense thing. So if, if you close your eyes. And if you tap the muscle that you're trying to work, you're you're gonna as you're lifting, you're gonna be able to get more engagement out of it than okay. if you were just to. Because if you eliminate it's a sense, a, I swear, bro. It's like a, a, a trainer connection. taught me this when I was like young. That's crazy. He was had me doing calf extra like like lifts, and he said, "Now I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to feel my tap." So he'd be tapping my calf, and I'm like, "Holy shit, he's right." Yeah. And it's just wild, bro. But like you, you like tap someone's shoulders and they're doing delts. To kind of help them re-engage the delt, re-engage the delt, re-engage the right. delt. Right, because it's too easy to start. Yeah, and starting. you can't when you're doing the lift. You can't really like, you, you can't touch your shoulders while you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. So it looks kind of weird, but that's like a, that's the most advanced I've ever done. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Okay. It's like remember to work quad work. You're touching yeah. it like work, <laughs> bro. It's weird. That's right. some fucking Olympian shit. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> At that point, it's like the one percent is like what that's, makes yeah. or breaks. It. Right? And then, then right. you gotta rest, bro. I've been resting more than I ever have my, my training split. I'm doing like four, maybe five days a week right now, but I'm resting two to yeah. three, and I'm fucking growing, bro. It's wild. You're sleeping I'm more, sleeping right? so much more. Yeah. All right, here we go. See how that touched the bottom? That was yeah. bad. Okay. <sighs> Four more. One. Three. Come on, come on. Fuck. That was good. <laughs> was that a decent spot? That was perfect. Okay. I think we're done. Okay. Right? You said we're still doing it. <laughs> that, yeah. <sighs> oh. All right, so when doing Smith Machine, you're definitely more forward, right? A little bit more forward. That's like, it's one of the pros of being able to do it on the Smith machine. I feel more natural, like on the way down, I can focus like fully on just getting a good squat. So you're focusing on glutes and quad here, basically. Glute, quad, my feet a little forward, yeah. Okay. Well, feet forward more puts a little bit more on the quad, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah, you're right. 
what? One so I go low enough to activate my hamstrings. Like. You can do that. <laughs> well, yeah, when you're going like, it's like mainly quad, 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 but here, it's hamstring and glute. So you're going like, literally like. I'm going with parallel. Perpendicular. Yeah. A little low, I even sit a little lower. I break parallel slightly. All right, so one plate? Yeah, one plate. <laughs> okay, jeez. This far forward? Uh, Too far. Yeah, try that. Okay. And feet a little wider, a tad bit wider. Yep. And then when you squat, drive your knees out. So you're driving these out. Yep, you're sitting in that pocket, you see? Oh, okay. Yeah, right? It needs some fucking grease. Yeah. Okay. Good. And imagine you're pushing with your heel. Heel, 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 heel. Got it. Neck neutral. Like, look down there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. Big breath. Catch your breath again. Good. Two more. Uh, okay. Keep the tightness. Don't let anything cave in. Tightness. Chest is tight. Up, 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 up. Good. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm like worried about you to trip over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think it's good. Hamstring Actually, tighten up. Huh? Ham tighten up. My butt. Be careful on this rep then. Okay. That happens to me sometimes when I don't do my order of movements. And when I don't do enough warm up. Oh shit. Okay. My hamstrings always come in and say hello. Yeah, on literally the squat. Started, like as I was walking, it started like. Yeah. Do I, so do I stretch a little bit right now or just careful? Careful on this one. You probably don't have many sets left in you before you tighten up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Uh, <laughs> I prefer this way though. Yeah? Oh my god. Okay. okay, you got a good position. Neck neutral. Yep. Back straight. Good. I don't see you ever so slightly lower, like lower? an inch lower. Okay. But don't cave your back. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Good. I kind of go to sink into it more. And then explode up, go, explode. Good, do it like that. Down, 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 oh, explode up. Oh, something just popped. You good? Yeah, something just like, oh, twinged. Oh, never felt that before. A pop? Yeah. Okay, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I saw that. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Slow step. It's like right here. At least like your body didn't give out. Oh. That happens. Yeah. Alright, I just gotta like, keep it moving because it's like. You good? Like, yeah, keep up. moving. Oh, straight though, right? Got to train Juan for bring Juan for leg day. I fucking broke him. <laughs> I didn't know we were even doing leg day. Alright. No, your form was good. Yeah? I think if anything, you were resisting it too much. Resisting what? Like the weight. Oh, uh, like creating Like you it were down? hesitant the whole time. Like, like on the way down, it was kind of like, it was kind of like you're going down here, but you're like, Kind of here, creating a lot of tension right here. Uh, where if you kind of just go, 
Because like you you want to save all your you were like using energy to fight the weight. Okay. So you're kind of like using energy on the descending, where I want you to kind of use all the energy right here. Got it. In that part it. of the motion. But really, like, yeah, you can't really. I just think it. I was afraid that if I did that, I would come back up. Yeah. I would like sink too far in. Yeah. I've never seen this uh, calf machine before. It's a pre-core. It's a wow. matrix. It's kind of wobbly that. though, but good. Whenever things wobbly, just be sure you freaking get your core stable. Stretch the calf. Squeeze. Full stretch right there. Squeeze. Stretch. Yep, leg straight, squeeze here. Now all the way down, down and down. This all the way down, yep. there, that's a stretch. Squeeze, then heel all the way down, 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 that's a stretch. Good. Lower, lower, boom, there. You try keeping a little less bend in the knee, make it a little harder. When we sit, I, when I sit on the plane, when you stand up, I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna be like sore and stiff. <laughs> this, who thinks to do a leg day right before getting on a plane? That's crazy. Yeah, and be sore for like three days. Yeah. Bro, this is the first leg day I do in like years, so I'm gonna be sore. You're gonna me. be very sore. Yeah. yeah. Walking around the fucking Olympia. Point, get the gimbal. <laughs> Let's go. Lord. And the reality of coming back because the viral sequence is over. <laughs> <laughs> this one is annoying because this one has like the gem in it. <laughs> this has a special thing in it. Oh, I think the latch might have broke. There was one that had a broken latch. Well, I think we just broke this one. <laughs> see that car. <laughs> All right, we have made it to the airport. Let's go to Orlando. Just saw Nick Walker's update. Sucks. He tore his hamstring, like bad, like real bad. It looks like, um, like right before the Olympia. So I feel for him, man. It fucking sucks. Oh, the Ritz Carlton. So, so you rich, rich. You think they have breakfast there? I hope so. That's always my first question. Do they have breakfast? I was literally surrounded by video games. It was him and another guy beside me. They were both just like gaming out on the plane. Look, do you see the video I took? And then they started talk, like nerding out on games. I was, I was like, like, are you playing Pokemon? <laughs> I'm like working on this he big important no project. Like, oh, Look, this is my life. Next stop, oh my gosh. Terminal A and B. <laughs> You're in the middle too. Yeah. I look so jacked. I'm just like, <laughs> you'll play. Next stop, <laughs> is this where we go? I don't know. But you tell sure. me. Sure. Okay. You're off your game today or what? Can you reach this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh babe, that's a stretch. Ow. My armpit. Ow. Babe, what? How does it know where to look? Oh, okay. 
Oh. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I just did. See that? Oh, my magic. I'm. Wait, magic, ready? Oh, that way? Oh! I can't make it fall your face. The magic took a second to kick in. <laughs> there I am. Isn't that crazy? So you can sit on a desk and go show stuff. Is it on my face? Yeah. That's so wild. Isn't that crazy? I wish you guys could see this little. Here, here. I just. I have those level two. What? Babe, look. Look, ready? Are you ready? Wait, no, are you ready? Apple Pay, got it. Okay, you ready for this watch? Oh, that's, okay, look. that's crazy. That is look. crazy. It's like a little robot. It doesn't even know. <laughs> okay, so I, I ordered this. <laughs> Christian wondering. The real question is can I grab our suitcases while still training my Pokemon? The answer is a hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Still playing. <laughs> One, two. Do we have four or five? Such a celebrity. She doesn't know her. <laughs> Welcome to our stay at the Ritz Carlton. Here's our room. Wow. We have the living quarters. We have a dining room. We have a living room. Look at that erect remote. Look at this. Look at the remote. Why'd they put it like that? Look at this tree. Is there a bird in there? No, but is it a real, is this <gasps> real succulents and stuff? I think it is. Wow. That's cool. Okay, so we have the beautiful patio. Check it out. Wow. There's palm trees everywhere. It's actually we have so a sunset. Cold. It's a little cold, not that cold. There's a hot tub, a pool. <gasps> there, there's a hot tub, a pool, a uh, this. Is that, that is that like a kitty pond? Is that what that is? Yeah, who am I? Who am I? Ready? There's a hot tub, a pool, a this, a that. That's what you mean? I'm you. Nah, that don't sound like that. <laughs> I definitely don't sound like that. Continuing the tour. <laughs> is that a bottle? Oh, <gasps> we got liquor? You won't take a shot. No, I won't. I will. Oh, babe. Show me what? the tour. Get we have a bar. Out. We have a bar. We got snacks. We have coffee. Like hello. Babe, do you know what that is? It's a whiskey thing. Decanter. Decanter. That's the word. <gasps> Look at our room. It's spacey. Like it bothers me. me how there's one shan one sconce. No, Wait, why? This room is massive. I asked for the suite because you have so much shit all the time. So so you rich rich. Damn. Not no, not really. <laughs> I haven't paid myself in a while, actually. Like, Who's oh, paying two... for this? Well, oh. me with what I've got left. There's a tub. Wait, the light doesn't work though. The light doesn't work. Wait, it does now. Oh, look at this beautiful room. This is nice. This is actually there's a shower, big. a tub, wow. and a toilet. That's I'm gonna get in this cool. bathtub. It's gonna completely just overflow. What? I'm gonna get in this bathtub and see completely yeah, overflow. That, that just fits you in there. This is like 20 liters. That, that's not gonna fit much. Put a bottle of water Bro. in there, that's all you can fit. He loves This is a real life, real that. life like fall right here. I catch myself right there. <laughs> oh. Like 16 ounces, that's it. 16 yeah, ounces. If I put my legs ounces. in, you got 12 ounces. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. How, how are we both going to fit in there? We, we take a bath every night. Yeah, you're not going to fit in here. I might. No, you're not. Yeah. Make Shamu! <laughs> I'm just going to kick you out. You can shower in there. I feel so big in this bath. Babe, you are big. My lat width has at least gone up two inches since yeah, the you, show. You look very, like, cramped. No, that's a guess. <laughs> Should we continue the tour? Yeah, you go ahead. I don't think there's anything else. I think, wait, there is. Wait, there's more. A closet and a safe and a room. Babe, wrap up the video. Um, well, let me see if there's anything over here. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> there's another patio. That's cool. 
Wow, Whoever man. designed this room was on some drugs. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this room? Wow, look at this. We have our own patio. Oh, I like Never mind. <laughs> I like how it's cool. kind of closed in. Like, hello, friends. Yeah. Orlando, I feel like we were just here in Orlando making every other day YouTube uploads. Remember that YouTube channel that I used to have forever ago? Wild. A whole YouTube, bro, there's a whole ass, like, a lot of videos that we've recently made that no one's seen yet because of the algorithm. So y'all should go, if you want to, go check those out, okay? Go back and rewatch the moments. We're going to wrap up this vlog, so Juan can get editing. Uh, Heidi and I are going to go eat some dinner, I think. Yeah? Do a giveaway. Do it. Why? I don't know. Why it's not? a new channel. We're going to do that. Give, do a giveaway. <laughs> for what? Buff money? Yeah. Okay. How about three gift cards for Alphalete, three for Buff Bunny Collection? No more Alphalete. I've done enough this year. All right. Well, let's do a Buff Bunny Collection <laughs> one. Let's do a Buff Bunny Collection A Buff Bunny Collection one? Okay. Yeah. I did 10K for you. How much are you doing? For this video? Well, how much do you want to do? I... 1K? Yes. Four gift cards, $250. Guys, get your girl something. Okay. Ladies, get yourself something. Buffbunny.com. Is it buffbunnycollection.com or no, it's buff buffbunny.com? Hmm. Buffbunny.com. No <laughs> collection after buffbunny. It's just buff bunny. No, but you gotta talk about the giveaway. How much did you pay for that domain? Nothing. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go it was ahead. It's free. Really? Or it was like 10 cents or something, yeah. No one else wants to be buff bunny. Uh, not when I got it. I got it like early, early on, right, oh. right away. Oh. Um, four gift cards, like two hundred and fifty dollars each. Like All you have to here. do is give the video a thumbs up, comment your favorite part of the video, okay. me, and then <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the, his new channel. That's it. Is this the new channel? Yes. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you all for watching. We'll the Guzman. We got a fun three ass, like three ass day, three ass days. What the fuck? Got three ass date? Three ass. We have we have a really good three days ahead. We have like three good ass days. That's what I meant. Three good ass days ahead yeah. here in Orlando. So stay tuned to find out why we're here. Vineyards in Summer Park. Let's go. Bye. Almost. Wow. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>